let's look at Windows Security, which is a free antivirus software from Microsoft. Okay, so if you click on your Start button here and type in Windows Security, you'll see this option. So go ahead and open that up. All right, I'm going to maximize this so we get a better view. And essentially, you can see, uh, you know, all the various uh, categories of information here. Virus and threat protection being the one we're most concerned about. It says no action needed at this time, right? Um, you may see an, uh, a bit there that says it's not turned on, you know, click here to turn on, that kind of thing. Uh, certainly go ahead and do that. Sometimes you'll see uh, a bit about uh, you need to sign in with a Microsoft account to uh, enhance your protection. If you don't want to do that, you just want to stick with your local account, you can click dismiss on that. But uh, essentially what you want in the end is to see all the little green checks and then you know that it's up and running, right? Now when you're running it, it will have an icon here uh, with the shape of a shield on your taskbar. If you want a nice quick way to jump in here and check to see that your security health is fine, you can right click and say pin to taskbar. So now if I close this, I still have the shield there. I can always click on the shield and review, you know, security at a glance, right? Now, if you want to run a scan, you can go into virus and uh, threat protection here, and you can click on quick scan. And what that will do is it will, uh, you know, check all the obvious areas, the most vulnerable areas uh, for viruses, etc. And, um, you know, like here, it says the last scan lasted one minute and nine seconds. But you can do other types of scans. So you can click on scan options, right, and choose full scan, which will check everything on your system, uh, which I actually recommend that you do periodically, right? So say once a month, you went in and just did a full scan, see if anything's hiding in, in odd areas of your machine. Right. You can also choose custom scan, um, which where you could specify which locations you want to check. So if you have a particular folder, for example, I could click on scan now and say, uh, you know, I just want to check everything on my desktop, you know, select the folder and then scan now and it will scan everything on my desktop. Right. And then um, we have this last option for an offline scan. Right. So uh, what this is, what this means is that while Windows is running, certain things can't be cleaned up or detected as easily. Uh, so it will restart the machine, and before all the main Windows components, etc., come in, it'll do the scan. You know, prior to all of that loading, and that way it gets a, a better root access to your machine. So this is like a uh, intense nerdy scan, right? Um, and it, it suggests it'll take about 15 minutes. Of course, uh, that accuracy of that can vary depending on the speed of your machine, right? So if we go back to virus and threat protection here, uh, there's also an area for allowed threats, right? And this would be something that, uh, say, was detected on your machine and you said, no, no, actually, I know that's not a virus. You know, false positives uh, happen, you know, relatively frequently. And uh, you're, you're going to trust the file. And you, if, when you say allow, you'll see that it, it'll be in a list here, right? And then there's a history that you can uh, go into and see, what, you know, what's been done, scan results, that kind of thing. Right, so currently there's no action needed on settings, but you can go in and manage settings. You can turn on real time protection. So, of course, what that means is in real time, all the time, as you're opening software and running programs, it's going to check everything, you know, like a bodyguard and make sure everything's good. Right, you can have the, uh, the, the cloud functionality uh, in place, which uh, basically lets your uh, local antivirus um, communicate with, you know, the, the cloud of detections and everything in the Microsoft community. And uh, this way you can, you know, get uh, faster, better, more accurate results in terms of what uh, is going on. We have a sample submission. So if Microsoft finds a file that it suspects it may have a virus in it, 
um, that could be submitted to Microsoft so that they can study it. If you have privacy concerns about the kinds of files that are on your system and you don't want anything sensitive going uh, to Microsoft, you can always turn that off, right? And then uh, tamper protection, uh, you know, prevents um, others from tampering with your security uh, features, right? As it says there. So um, there's other areas here. Uh, an important one could be exclusions. Some software doesn't run well if, it, if antivirus is scanning it constantly, right? So you can add or remove exclusions. So say if we wanted to add a folder here, and uh, usually the kind of folder you'd be adding an exclusion to would be under program files, right? So say if, uh, you know, OpenTunes was sensitive to virus scanning, if it slowed it down too much or made it unstable, I could choose that folder, select it, right? And now uh, it will not be included to, in, in real time and, and manual scanning, right? And of course, if you want to remove that exclusion, you can click the little arrow and remove that, right? Little back button here can bring us back to where we were, right? Controlled folder access, right? Uh, this can be very important um, in terms of uh, ransomware. You've probably heard of that where uh, people will encrypt your files and uh, basically demand you to pay, you know, two, three, four thousand dollars to for a password to unlock them. Um, this area, uh, we can turn that on, right? And then um, we can check out the protected folder. So by default, it protects all the normal stuff, you know, your your documents, pictures, videos, etc. I'm not sure why we're seeing doubles of them here. We'll just call that a bug, right? But you can you can add protected folders, right? The folders that you want to protect. So for example, uh, I usually have a little service folder in the root of C where I put things um, for fixing up my computer. So I might want to select that folder and, and that will also be protected against, you know, ransomware attacks, right? So um, that can that can be a very important thing to turn on and manage, uh, particularly if you have lots of personal data on your machine that you wouldn't want um, somebody else to be taking control of and denying you access to, right? And um, what else do we have here? And then just the notification settings here at the bottom, right? And uh, I've actually turned off the recent activity and scan results a uh, bit because, uh, you know, as long as everything's fine, which would, you know, generally be the case, uh, I don't need to know every time it does a little scan in the background, it distracts me while I'm working, right? Um, you could leave that on if you like, but I do want to know when a threat is found or when activities or files are blocked, right? So it helps me manage things and know, um, you know, of course, what's happening on my system. So I would recommend leaving those on. You can turn the whole thing off if you like, right? But uh, I wouldn't recommend that. And, uh, you know, there's a few other things here about d different notifications you could get. Uh, the only th the only one, as you see here, that I would suggest maybe turning off to avoid distractions would be the very top uh, square box right here. So that is a basic uh, overview of the built-in uh, Microsoft antivirus. Hopefully that can get you uh, up and running with security. Um, Third-party antivirus software is not a bad idea. Um, ones that I recommend personally would be uh, Malwarebytes Anti-Malware. Uh, that um, is an excellent uh, you know, anti-malware, antivirus software. There's a free version where you would just have to run scans manually, but um, there's also a pro version that runs in the background all the time. And it's very quiet. Uh, it's easy to forget that it, uh, that it's even there. It's so quiet, which is nice because some antivirus software is very intrusive, uh, always popping up messages and everything. Uh, but it's also very effective. I found with Malwarebytes Anti-Malware, uh, it is often able to uh, not only detect, but you know, kill uh, viruses that other uh, antivirus engines such as Norton or AVG or what have you um, don't even detect, or if they do, they, they're unsuccessful at removing it, whereas Malwarebytes has a much better 
uh, detect and hit rate in my experience.